Once upon a time, in the ancient kingdom of Varanasi, there lived a young man named Siddhartha. Siddhartha was known for his inquisitive mind and his boundless energy. He was always on the lookout for adventure and excitement, and he found it difficult to sit still or focus on any one task for too long. He was a very thoughtful man and looked for answers to the deepest questions agitating his mind. Why I am here? Who created this world? What is the purpose of life? And so on. His mind was a repository of multitude of thoughts and visions, but everything seemed to jumble up and confuse him. Therefore, he was always on a hunt for someone who could answer these queries and satisfy his mind. But so far, he remained unsuccessful. One day, as Siddhartha was wandering through the bustling streets of Varanasi, he heard of a wise old monk known as Bhante Sujata. It was said that Bhante Sujata possessed a profound wisdom that could change lives. Curiosity piqued, Siddhartha sought out the monk and requested an audience. Bhante Sujata agreed to meet with Siddhartha and invited him into his humble dwelling. The small room was adorned with a simple bamboo mat, a meditation cushion, and a few clay pots. Bhante Sujata's presence exuded a sense of calm and tranquility that immediately captivated Siddhartha. Siddhartha inquired, Venerable monk, I am always restless and find it hard to focus. How can I find peace and wisdom like you have? The wise sage immediately discerned that there was something special about the boy. His eyes were exuding depth and understanding he had never seen before. He was happy to have come across a soul who was eager to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Therefore, he decided to help him with all his problems and questions. Pante Sujata smiled gently and responded with a parable. Imagine a potter who shapes clay into various vessels. If the clay is soft and malleable, the potter can create beautiful and useful pots. But if the clay is too hard or too soft, it cannot be molded into anything meaningful. Likewise, your mind is like clay. To gain wisdom, you must learn the power of discipline. Siddhartha was intrigued, and he asked, How can I discipline my mind? Bhante Sujata replied, Consider the story of the elephant and the man. An undisciplined mind is like a wild elephant that runs amok, causing chaos and destruction. However, with the guidance of a skilled man, the elephant can be trained to obey commands, and become a powerful, controlled force. Siddhartha realized the wisdom of Pante Sujata's words and decided to learn the art of discipline. He became Pante Sujata's devoted disciple and began his journey of self-discovery and inner peace. Under Pante Sujata's guidance, Siddhartha learned to meditate, to focus his mind, and to practice mindfulness. Day by day, Siddhartha's mind became calmer and he gained a deeper understanding of himself and the world around him. By mastering our thoughts and actions, we can find inner peace and wisdom, just as Siddhartha did under the guidance of Pante Sujata. Years passed, and Siddhartha's discipline and dedication to his practice deepened. One day, as he sat under the Bodhi tree in deep meditation, he achieved enlightenment and became known as the Buddha, the Awakened One. The story of Siddhartha's transformation from a restless young man into the Buddha teaches us the power of discipline. Like the potter molding clay and the man taming the wild elephant, we too can shape our minds and lives through disciplined practice. By mastering our thoughts and actions, we can find inner peace and wisdom, just as Siddhartha did under the guidance of Bhante Sujata.